After Godzilla was put on ice at the end of Godzilla Raids Again, Toho set their most famous monster aside and spent the following years experimenting with more kaiju films. And so, two years after the original Gojira debuted, we have Rodan, the film that set another high benchmark for the studio and thus further established it as the king of the genre. Now first, full disclaimer, I will be reviewing the American version here. I tried to get my hands on the Japanese cut, but it proved to be quite difficult, though luckily the American cut of Rodan remains mostly faithful to the original, though a tacked on prologue and the incessant use of narration don't make a good first impression. Once the film begins in earnest though, it really picks up steam. You are quickly introduced to the main character Shigeru Kawamura, played by Kenji Sahara, and the small mining village of Kitamatsu, which makes for a unique and more intimate setting for a monster movie, giving the film a sense of claustrophobia and isolation that it wisely plays in on with the Mega Nulan, giant killer dragonflies that are the film's first true antagonists that set the stage for the many twists and turns that are to come. As I thought, all the killings have been done by that monster. The wounds of a thief. You men, here. Hurry, take him to the morgue. Rodan is one of the more uniquely structured kaiju movies, which is one of its greatest strengths. It first starts out as a murder mystery, then turns into a creature feature, and then finally evolves into a full-blown kaiju flick. The Rodans aren't actually seen until over halfway through the film, and aren't fully unleashed until the final act. But you don't feel the delay because the film is genuinely well-paced, building upon revelation after revelation as it takes its time to tease out the mystery. All this is to say that Rodan is a legitimately well-written and directed monster movie that never allows the special effects to upstage the story. Because I love you. I love you. And yet, despite this, the effects do upstage the story because they are simply that good. The special effects and model work marked a new high for Ijai Tsuburaya. There are some incredible scenes of destruction in this film, the centerpiece of which is the complete annihilation of Sasebo. The attention to detail is staggering here, making for an amazing spectacle that really makes you appreciate the hard work and artistry involved. It's one of the all-time greatest sequences from the golden age of Toho. Rodan also has the distinction of being the studio's first kaiju film to be presented in full color. Ashiro Honda returns to direct, and while tonally and stylistically very different from Gojira, it is another powerhouse showcase for his talents, the end result of which is a brisk and vibrant popcorn movie that balances itself well within nearly all facets of its production. The human characters are surface level deep, but are lively enough to maintain your interest even when the monsters aren't on screen. There are great scenes of dread, horror, and mayhem all throughout, a highlight being Shigeru's flashback to Rodan's hatching. Having this memory be triggered by the hatching of a bird made for a very clever transition, and the scene itself has an immediacy to it that most giant monster movies lack. Now, next to Godzilla, Rodan is one of Toho's most iconic and recognizable monsters, and this movie continues to be the best representation of the character decades later. Rodan looks great, far better than he would go on to look in subsequent appearances. While he looks quite stiff in the air, on the ground the suitmation and stunt performing are remarkable given the time period. It is still some of the best old school kaiju action you'll ever see. Rodan is a great monster movie, plain and simple. It may not be quite as thematically rich as some of the best the genre has to offer, but it doesn't need to be because it excels at telling a simple story and generating suspense through mystery, along with delivering a healthy dose of some of the best sequences of destruction to come out of this time period. Rodan may not be the king of the monsters, but he is without a doubt a worthy contender. For more reviews and opinions on all things Godzilla, stay tuned to Up From The Depths.